See that? A tower crew at work. Once upon a time, OSHA would look at one and scratch their collective heads about how to inspect a communication tower worksite because there were no regulations or standards that applied specifically to the tower industry. Enter the brand new ANSI ASSE A1048, the result of 20 years of many smart minds coming together to put all our best practices into one document. It covers everything from pre-climb inspection to tower demolition, and much of it with unprecedented engineering support. There are two main areas where engineering work has had the biggest impact, gin poles and rigging plants. Let's break it down. Gin poles are unique to the tower industry. In the good old days, they were even made with telephone poles. Then, not so long ago, experienced tower engineers finally took on the task of studying the complex nature of gin pole loading. As a result, A1048 sees to it that every gin pole has a load chart that meets current engineering design criteria. That way you know exactly what a gin pole can lift and how it affects the tower. Now another thing that's new to tower techs in the field are rigging plan classes. Thanks bud, appreciate it. Rigging plans include the details of the load, the placement of the rigging on the tower, and the type of equipment being used to perform the lift. Because when a tower is rigged to lift material, a force is placed on the structure. The different weights of the loads the location of the rigging and varying tag angles will impact the tower in different ways. The A1048 places rigging plans into four different classes. Most light lifting done with capstans is a class one plan. This is for load and rigging system weights up to 350 pounds, rigged directly to the tower structure itself. If a load and rigging system weighs between 350 and 500 pounds and the top block is rigged directly to the tower, it's considered class two. For both class one and two, the competent rigger on site is in charge and can design the plan. But a class two plan must be written. Class three is for load and rigging system weights from 500 up to 2,000 pounds. It also includes new tower construction and some specific types of modifications where no support is compromised. The competent on-site rigger needs to make this plan under the direction of a more qualified person. The qualified person may decide to consult with an engineer if he needs to. Any load and rigging system weighing over 2,000 pounds, removal of structural members, or specialized unusual rigging is class four and requires an engineer. Even rigging a capstan and rope to an antenna mount instead of the tower is considered a class four because the mount was never designed to have rigging loads placed on them. A1048, know it, embrace it, live it. It's a comprehensive effort that places all tower processes, procedures, and protocols in one place. Because of it, we can approach each day and each job with confidence. You can purchase your copy at www.natehome.com. Stay safe, my friends.